Good stuff. Good hey, stuff. Uh, you can't imagine, homie. Well, you can. Uh, once you learn this game and you can master it, uh, it's easy to touch millions. When you understand content creator, uh, it's like it's like a nigga knowing how to do a BBL. It's like a nigga knowing how to do. It's a new trade, and it make the same amount of money. Can make the same amount of money that a doctor makes doing t be content creator. There are, there are children who got children channels, and all they do is open toys and go. And they're millionaires. Yeah, well, you they, never know their name. Yeah, they make like forty million a year or something. Yeah, homie, yeah. because when you give your kid a phone, they watch this kid. My, I want this. <laughs> you don't know to just buy your kids toys and let him open up and let his reaction and uh, start him. You know they don't know that though. Yeah. They don't know when they're at the family and they got a drunk mother and all who keep everybody last and put that mother. They don't know that, huh? <laughs> they don't know that's content. Go viral. They don't know black people lives is content for movies and this. So homie, I peep that. So nigga, I keep nah, homie. That's why I live on this. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah. Nicely so I'm the new television show, homie. And so I'm giving these people free entertainment. So when I do show up for a comedy show, nigga, they want to see if I'm really funny or if I'm not funny. Some people come to see if I ain't funny. So I already think so it's just like Ali. In Mayweather, people was coming to see them get beat up at first, not win. True. That's true. Yeah. I think that's what Mayweather mastered, right? Yeah. Getting everybody hyped up to go see yeah. him lose finally because he yeah. got in their skin so much. And you, it makes sense now. You I, 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 hey, I'm listen. I've been studying, homie. I ain't been no kid playing outside. I was a kid. Soon they let me go outside, a wonder's getting rope. <laughs> and I got to come inside and sit my ass right there. They got to give me a book to read. I, ain't, I wasn't no sports kid, homie. Uh, so I, I study, I, I read. So I, I go all the way back to Ma Mabel, Petey Green, Dolomite, Red Fox. So, homie, I've been studying these people, homie, mimicking this because it's the culture. I'm a product of black culture, nigga. Yeah. 1970 black exploitation, baby. And I think you're feeling a niche that, that with you mentioned Ma Mabel and Petey Green. We really didn't have that much. We didn't have that anymore. And now we kind of have that through. Robin Harris on Kid and Play. That was the last nigga talk like this. Yeah, correct. correct. Robin Harris, daddy on Kid and Play. When he told that nigga, he, he talked to the police like that. He talked to the nigga with the Jerry Curl like that. When he walked into the party, what was he doing? Talking to everybody. Where that boy at? Where he at? <laughs> we saw him. Why weren't you looking at? And with the talk. So, I mean, that, we don't have that black male no more. <laughs> because. The male after him was scared of the nephew because he was on drugs. He needed to get dope from the nephew. Say, nephew, never get a hit. So he started, the nephew on pay, the uncle on pay in full, homie. Them was the niggas after Robin Harris talking like that. Yeah. The niggas that had kidnapped his the nephew kid. and hold him for ransom. Nigga, we started resenting men just because they were men. We done heard all these women in our lives say bad things about men. We done seen our aunties do our uncles bad. And he be saying, man, you ain't tripping, man. man. And we don't see him no more. And we never, like, we never had it. Yeah, yeah. So we done watched all the women in our lives. So, nigga, what we do when we start getting of age, we're, we're going to take on their frustration and anger and beat up the dope fiend, nigga, we selling dope to. Mm. We going to book the coach. We, cause, cause now we want to whoop a grown man yeah. because this ain't our anger. This our mama's new anger. No, nah, okay. most black boys ain't got anything anger toward their father. That's their mama's new anger. Nah, I, man, I, you touched on some very good points. And I think, man, when you talk about displaced anger and things like that, it shows itself in different ways, man. Say, on why you think niggas want to fight so fast? <laughs> that is the number one trait of a woman when she get mad. Give me that goddamn bill. Give me that goddamn bill. But when she ain't mad, she ain't hitting you. When life is good, mama ain't whooping a bunch of ass. It's when she's frustrated, going through something. Huh, and a nigga, that she gonna get your ass beat then. She a little rougher, a little meaner. These niggas the same way. When they had money, niggas, niggas really wasn't killing when the PPP money, SBB money. So we done took on the traits of our mothers. We've mutated because children mimic what they see and repeat what they hear. So if every time you got your ass whooping because mama was mad, you mimic that same behavior. Nigga, as soon as he get mad, what he do? He want to hurt. Everything that a man does, he does it from his mind and his mouth. You ain't never seen a world leader throw a punch. That's true. 
You ain't never seen a ruler throw a punch, homie. He ruled from his goddamn mind, and then he dictate. In mm. the film game, they say pimping is a non-contact sport. When you start using your hands, you don't run out of pimping. Nigga, you want to be a boxer. You don't want to pimp no more. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so now, nah, homie, uh, uh, the black boy is his mama now. That's why the murder rate is where it's at. It's, it's odd because for a second there, if you look at charts, the murder rate was starting to decline. It was. But then all of a sudden it picked back up. Gangbanging came back. You know why gangbanging came back? Why do you Niggas think? who went to prison from the 90s, gangbanging, is back out now. That's true. At the parks, in the neighborhoods, and online. All the stories that we're hearing now, homie, we didn't know these stories before now. Yep. So the seeds are being re -sown. 